Welcome to this new session describing EntropySoft product. I am Nicolas Macaire, the CEO of the company. We will specifically demonstrate the added value of Content ETL for transferring documents between content repositories. The main use case of Content ETL is for day-to-day -day transfers, for example, for records management. But Content ETL can also be used for one-off migrations. In this video demo, I am going to set up a bridge between EMC Documentum eRoom and EMC Documentum Center Stage. ETL stands for Extract, Transform and Load, and Content ETL is the first product dedicated to unstructured data. Let's assume that both eRoom and Center Stage are already deployed. First of all, you have to install Content ETL and connect it to Center Stage and eRoom. Usually, it takes a couple of minutes. The migration job, or the bridge, handles the migration, including any of your specific requirements. The Them bridge can be used for all your eRoom facilities. With the Them product, you can manage the migrations between more than 35 applications. You can also connect center stage to cloud repositories like Google Docs. The movie is going to start, please take a seat. First of all, we are going to connect Center Stage. The connector uses the Web Services API of Center Stage. No need to set up a client API, just a few jars to drop in the folder. In this list, you see the 35 applications supported by EntropySoft. Select Center Stage and click Next. I am setting now a few properties, like the repository name, the display name, I will use center stage, the doc base name I want to access, it's documentum, the DFS base URL, the center stage DFS URL, and at the end, the credentials that will be used to manage the migration. Once center stage is connected, you can navigate in the repository and you can also browse the schema, including folder types, document types, mixing types and all related metadata. Then, we need to connect the eRoom application. Here, again, the connector uses web services. There is nothing to deploy. Select eRoom and click Next. Then, again, we have to set up a few properties. Again, the repository name, the display name, the eRoom server, the facility name, and the credentials we are going to use. Then click Finish to connect eRoom. Once the eRoom facility is connected, you can work with the repository and browse the repository schema. Now that both applications are connected, we can create the bridge. Different options exist. The first one is to go to the File menu and create a new EntropySoft project. This is a list of templates. We select eRoom to center stage and we click Finish. Here it is. A bridge is a series of end stages and each handles a specific action on the document. And when I, when I talk about document, in fact, the elementary object which crosses over the bridge is called a parcel. And the parcel is the document itself plus all related information. Let's see in a bit more detail what the bridges consist of. A bridge always starts with a source. There are many, many different kinds of sources. It can be a query, it can be a set of query, it can be a folder hierarchy, it can be a web services, etc. Then, very often, you have to retrieve content, to retrieve permission, to retrieve metadata. 
and use different stages to map these data together. When the mappings are planned, you can use different stages to implement the specific requirements of your migration. Now, you can save the document flow in center stage using the Save to Repository stage. The palette on the right can be used to add many features to your bridges. Of course, the palette is listing all the different sources, but you can find different families of stages, and you can add many, many different features to your bridges. For example, we can drag and drop a new stage to manage deduplication, but that's another story. Another option to create a process is to import one which was previously saved. Services companies can develop their own libraries of bridge templates and reuse them with different customers. Let's import a new process. Go to the File menu, select Import, select Existing Projects into Workspace, click Next, then browse to select your project, then click Finish. The bridge is now ready. We can browse the project and display the bridge. In the next session, we shall see how to manage the mappings, a lot of very exciting features like reporting, and how to execute the migration. Thank you for attending. See you soon.